when offering guidance to individuals seeking effective meditation practices i tend to draw my own experience and suggest methods that i have personally tried and found to be refreshingly simple one such technique that i often recommend especially to beginners is the method of tracing your breath span This straightforward approach can be valuable starting point for uh, those looking to embark on their meditation journey as it provides a foundation for mindfulness and helps establish a connection with the breath and fostering a sense of inner calm and focus while the act of inhaling and exhaling is primarily attributed to the lungs it's essential to recognize that the stomach area also plays a significant role in the breathing process this involvement becomes evident when we observe the movement of the stomach as one takes a deep breath the stomach rises in conjunction with the filling of the lungs and starting to expand outward at the onset of inhalation however a notable shift occurs after inhaling about 2/3 of a breath as the stomach gradually begins to descend again and this synchrony of movement between the stomach and the lungs showcases the coordinated effort of the diaphragm which contracts the expand to facilitate breathing and the lungs themselves understanding this relationship can be instrumental in achieving deep diaphragmatic breathing and uh, also you can be perfect in your breathing and if you have a wrong way of breathing you can correct it easily this happens because between your chest and stomach there is a muscular membrane the diaphragm when you breathe the right way your lower lungs get filled with the air first and then diaphragm moves down making your tummy go up as you keep breathing in your upper lungs fill up and your chest pushes out causing your tummy to go back down this teamwork is important for good controlled breathing which is good for your body and mind this is the reason why in the past people used to describe the breath as starting at the belly and ending at the nose and it is a perfect statement to learn correct breathing lying down is an excellent starting point for beginners to embark on a breathing practice the key is to avoid exerting excessive effort as this can prove risky for the lungs particularly if they have weakened by years of incorrect breathing so to initiate to recline on your back or a thin mat or a blanket arms resting at your side and concentrate your awareness on your exhalation closely monitoring its duration calculate it gradually in your mind and like rhythmic count like for example i'm doing here inhale and then start 1 2 3 then slowly exhale and exhale also should be in three count 3 2 so after several repetitions you will have a sense of your breath's natural length say perhaps five counts now challenge yourself to extend the exhalation by one or two counts making it six or seven commence your exhale counting from 1 to 5 like I'm doing here for you like just to inhale 1 2 and 3 now you start exhaling then start counting to 3 2 1 or if you want to increase your count then you start it for the 7 like inhale 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 then slowly exhale and count 7 6 5 Four, three, two, and one. So, like in this way, you can do this. Commence your exhale, counting from one to five. When you reach five, instead of an immediate inhale, pause to foster mindfulness and continue from there. Before moving on, aim to extend your exhalation to six or seven counts. This will ensure your lungs expel more air. 
Once you have completed your exhale, take a brief pause to allow your lungs to naturally draw in fresh air. Allow them to inhale as much air as they desire without any forced effort. Typically, you will notice that the inhalation is shorter in duration than the exhalation. So maintain a steady count in your mind to measure the length of both faces. Continue practicing in your manner for several weeks, remaining full aware of each and every breath cycle while lying down. If tracking the length of your inhalation and exhalation, right? So now let us understand that the monitoring your breath results what? Keep monitoring your breath consistently whether you are strolling, sitting, standing or in particular when you are out in the open. So while walking, you can synchronize your steps with your breath cycle. Over the course of uh, about a month or two, you will notice that the gap between duration of your exhalation and inhalation will diminish, slowly balancing out until they become of equal duration. For example, if your exhalation takes six counts, your inhalation will also be around six counts. So it should be balanced and this is the sign that you are going on the right path in the practice of breathing. So if uh, you experience any fatigue during your practice, it is advisable to halt your exercise immediately. Even if you don't perceive tiredness, it is wise not to extend the practice of uh, long. The moment you sense the slightest sign of uh, weariness, so revert to your regular breathing pattern. Fatigue serves as a reliable indicator from your body, guiding you as to whether it is time to rest or continue. To maintain a rhythm in your breath, you can count the breaths or opt for a preferred rhythmic phrase. For example, if your breath cycle takes six counts, you might replace numbers with a phrase like, my heart is now at peace. If it is seven counts, you could say, I walk on the new green earth or this phrase may vary according to personal belief and uh, you can use your own favorite statements or phrases or lines what you prefer and you feel happy with that statement so choose your favorite words phrases in a positive manner because when you are doing breath you are completely mindful about that breath and you are aware about that breath and you are connected to the entire length of your breath so you have to stay mindful otherwise your breath gone lost and your consciousness also lost somewhere else so so there's no more mindfulness breathing remains right so i uh, make you understand that uh, how you have to create this uh, this span, this osmosis, breathing osmosis uh, in your spine or your nostrils or your uh, your lungs and stomach because this, this breathing osmosis is a very uh, powerful tool or powerful step or very initial step to be a good meditation practitioner, right? Let's go forward and uh, understand the other things that how to do a correct breathing and how we can use the breathing as a tool to be a good meditation practitioner or good meditator. We discussed that how you have to correct breathing, but now you have to learn that how you can have a silent breathing. In correct breathing, it is also very important that your breathing should be silent breathing. So your breathing also differentiate you from other lower realm of creatures and beings. Let your breathing flow gracefully. So mastery of our breath translates to mastery over our bodies and minds. Whenever you feel scattered and struggle to regain control through other methods, rely on the practice of observing your breath as a constant anchor, right? 
it will help you a significant manner i i tried it a lot and i still using this technique and i still all the time working on my breath i i just able to harness my breathing sound and breathing uh, duration and breathing uh, inhaling and exhaling air and my capacity my control is now remarkable if i compare myself i lived the life without using the practice on breathing or without the work on breathing my breath was simple and very short or very thin and so weak and very uncontrolled but when i started work on my breathing i control my energy i can control my emotions i'm a balanced person if i compare when i was uh, 18 or 20 years right i hope you understand the meaning and the importance of silent breathing quiet breathing practice gentle and serene breathing is very useful to make your breathing correct so the moment you assume your meditation posture initiate your focus on the breath commence with the normal breathing then gradually guide your breath to a state of tranquility and marked by hushed evenly paced and extended inhalation and exhalation right remain fully aware of every sensation and phenomenon occurring within yourself while you are working on your breath and you are observing your breath means when you are having correct breathing or long breathing and silent breathing there are so many locomotions happening in your body so many sensations so many vibrations tingling vibrations occurring in your body so you have to observe them because without observation your task or your efforts are in vain because you you gain nothing you understand nothing you, to understand yourself you to realize yourself to analyze your whole body or mind or eternal being you have to observe sensations happening in you while you are doing breath work right so inhale a lengthened breath means as long as you can otherwise i told you 1 to 7 maximum if you are a beginner you start for 1 to 3 and then 1 to 4 or 5 or then 6 7 so lengthen it as your body lungs or your stamina allows it when, when your inhalation and exhalation is lengthened and uh, increase its duration right so inhale a lengthened breath and in that moment acknowledge i am taking in a prolonged breath and when exhaling understand i am expelling a lengthy breath for shorter breath be aware as you are breathing and i am drawing in a short breath and when exhaling recognize also i am releasing a short breath as you engage with the, the entirely of your breath affirm your intentions to breathe in and out totally in this manner you cultivate self awareness repeat this process emphasizing the fullness of the breath body both when breathing in and when breathing out also declare your intent to calm the breath body's activity as you inhale and exhale it is very important to give a signal or a message to your mind that you are working on your breath and you have to calm your body and you have to grab nice breath body breath body means the entire length of your breath body how long how prolonged your breath is this is how you refine your mindfulness and practice in approximately 10 to 20 minutes your thoughts will have settled into stillness resembling a tranquil pond where not even the slightest ripple disrupts the surface so now let us understand one more thing is telling your breaths means counting or tracing your breath telling your breath means you are going to trace your breath in the next exercise we just making understand in our mind that how to have a correct breathing in order to learn or be 
a mindful practitioner so whenever you feel that you are going to attend a meditation session or you are going to do meditation at home whether you are using any music or using any yoga or, or any aroma therapy you are using to meditate your breath should be there without breath work or without observing your breath there is no meditation exists meditation is itself says us that we are meditating on something and on something and that something if that something is outer influences or other people or other places you are uh, your mind is wandering to that's not the meditation you or you that meditation cannot get something useful or purposeful to your life or your time can be wasted so whenever you think about a meditation you have only one essence and that is and you are already blessed with it and this this is called breath your own breath when you are going to start meditation you are starting to observe your breath without observing your breath your mind can be astray and wander here and there and your meditation or your time all will be destroyed then you feel that you demoralize then you never put any another single tiny effort to to do a meditation so i don't want any of uh, you that you feel demoralized or you feel negative about your meditation because uh, because many people just feel peace when they when they see anyone who is sitting with closed eyes or sometime on the buddha statues or sometime on any sage or monk who is like them but when they sit they don't know the right way they don't know the basic initial steps or they don't know the main prop or element one needs to get successful in a meditations then they lose and then they left they quit so i try my best to give you the best guidance for your meditation you need nothing but you just have to follow the instruction what i told you here in, in this podcast so telling your breath is the counting your breath observing your breath even how to do that let me explain you all the things achieving a state of calm and even breath even breath means equal balanced breath child while sleeping his stomach is uh, just going up and down and there is no sound quiet is it's sleeping it can be in our awakened state also that the breath right breath correct breath can only work on your diaphragm and your stomach and nostrils only the pipe which is just using you to connect from the outer world to your inner world and it is called in the veda shastras this name is the, the kuram nadi it is the nerve that is the very subtle thin and feeble but it is most powerful and keep us connecting to our outer world to our inner world if this kuram nadi is disconnects then it's called death so we have to catch this nerve meridian this subtle wire so that we can stay connected to mother earth and the father sky and also to our own heart because to connect ourselves is also very important while you are doing meditation and breath is the tool which is keeping us connected to ourselves i hope you understand so achieving a state of calm and even breath equal breath balanced breath silent breath conscious breath is known as a method of following one's breath if this proves challenging initially an alternative is to employ the method of counting your breath inhale silently and count one and you exhale count one again like this i just inhale when i count one but i still can hold my breath but now i want to exhale then i start exhale and count side by side one in this way you have to do this the counting serves as a thread linking your mindfulness to your breath it is the initial step in the journey towards maintaining continuous awareness of your breath however without mindfulness you may lose count quickly when the count slips away simply return to one and persist until you can maintain the count correctly right once you can genuinely focus your attention 
you have reached the stage where you can consider leaving behind the counting method. Directing your concentration solely towards the breath itself, right? So during those times of inner turmoil or distractions, when the practice of mindfulness seems elusive, anchor yourself in your breath means you have to guide your breath you have to guide your consciousness at that way at that time grasping hold of your breath is in essence practicing mindfulness your breath serves as a remarkable means of seizing your consciousness it is essential not to surrender to mental dispersion or the pull of uh, external distractions. Instead, cultivate the art of conscious breathing to reclaim mastery over both your body and mind. Through this, you nurture mindfulness, foster concentration and cultivate wisdom, right? So each action is a sacred ceremony. Let's now understand this statement. to observe your breath or to realize your life essence, that each action should be like a sacred ceremony you are going to celebrate or perform, right? The breath seemingly delicate like a fine thread. I already told you before, thread is a very feeble, very soft wire. It is invisible, but most powerful. It is the cause we are connected to our outer world, to our inner world. We inhale, we are taking the element inside our body. And when we are exhaling, we are giving the element outer world. And in my language, this is called the divine osmosis, which is moving on, which is going on, and which is self-driven, which is uh, self-operating. So we are the blessed beings who have breathing system, we have breathing osmosis, we have this exchange, right? We have to understand the meaning of exchange, meaning of osmosis, meaning of rotation, meaning of circular. So where we were, the breath seemingly delicate like a fine thread possesses incredible potential when harnessed effectively. Means right now, if person is not in the correct breathing, they are not aware about their breathing power. They are not aware about breath. They just having a short breath, which is alterated by the outer influence or our lifestyles or our uh, our sitting postures or our, uh, our habits or our uh, misconceptions or perceptions or our uh, old rituals and so on. Breath seemingly delicate like a fine thread possesses incredible potential when harnessed effectively. It becomes a remarkable instrument enabling us to overcome seemingly insurmountable situations. So the breath serves as a bridge connecting our physical body and our mental state. The element harmonizing these aspects as facilitating unity between them in align with both body and mind functioning as the soul. So casting a light on both realms and bestowing peace and tranquility upon both. Numerous individuals and literature extol the profound advantages stemming from proper breathing techniques. They assert that someone well versed in the art of breathing holds the key to boundless vitality. Through breath, the lungs expand, the blood gains strength, and every organ in the body undergoes revitalization. It is often claimed that correct breathing takes precedence over the significance of nourishment, and indeed, these assertions bear truth. These benefits are only the byproducts of the realization of mindfulness. Real mindful meditation is yet to understand, right? So let us go forward and understand about the meditation. In my meditation classes, for enlivened disciples. There are many young folks. I have told them 
that meditating for an hour a day is a good start but it's not nearly enough you should meditate while you walk even stand lie down sit work wash your hands do the dishes or sweep the floor drinking tea or coffee talk to friends or whatever you are doing for instance when you wash the dishes don't hurry through it to get to the tea or other task if you are washing the dishes and just you are washing the dishes your mind should be to washing the dishes give washing the dishes your full attention and the same goes for when you do other task focus entirely on that when you are using the toilet be present in the moment everything carrying water doing shopping doing driving and so on there are numerous chores you used to do so it can be a form of meditation right be mindful 24 hours a day not just during your formal meditation time you just thinking about that i might be say that 24 hours how one can even meditate for 24 hours like the way i am telling you that you have to be aware about what you are doing what you are thinking what you are in how one can even meditate while sleeping while sleeping you are meditating very very deep how how it can be possible when you are going to bed you have to think about your breath you are focusing on your breath you focusing on your forehead you are focusing on your nose lips and inside your breath you feel that your breath is touching your navel following the techniques as i described before then you become the master of your breath and while sleeping when you are focusing on your breath you are complete attention on yourself in yourself even in that time if you are total attention on your breath and you sleep down what happen at that time your whole attention is just working inside yourself and that force the mind power you, you did focused on your breath or your navel or your inside your body can heal your whole body and can amend your all cellular system your all nervous system your all blood circulation your all the functions of your organs and when you wake up in the morning you just find yourself so refreshed because you have done or your mind power has done a work inside your body otherwise people just falling on their bed and they just sleep down while uh, using uh, other things or watching phones and uh, they slept and and what they found after they feel there was a nightmares there are dreams there are something running in mind that was not a good sleep you means you lost your mind you lost your energy you lost your power because you were not concentrating on yourself while you're sleeping so this is the right way how to do meditation while doing your every action in your life if you are talking to a friend never lose your consciousness from yourself and the person who you are talking with right so everything is possible if you try you will be master of this and your presence become most most powerful and magnificent and full of energy and full of mindfulness that is most important right so i hope you understand what i have explained in this podcast so i wish you will like it and you tell me about your learnings in my comment box i would love to answer there and i will come to know that who is doing their breath work and become master in their breathing see you in the next podcast have a nice day